Hi guys, Dean Ryan Lake here with another video. And yes, hopefully this is going to be a short video. So I will try not, you know, get distracted, go off on a tangent, you know. Speak about one thing, you know, lead to another and just make it complete nonsense. So anyway, this is going to be about the Pokemon anime. And it's going to go on a little about a certain character, considered one of the best rivals of Ash, apart from Paul. I mean, Alan could have been considered that as well, if it wasn't, you know, for that Blast Burn, Mega Charizard fiasco at the Carlos League. I mean, I wasn't bothered by it, but... <laughs> oh man, it was brilliant, everyone was getting annoyed. <laughs> but anyway, yes, yeah, about Gary and if he'll appear in the Sun and Moon anime. I mean, I know it is kind of random. We haven't seen him since Generation 4 in the anime. You know, since he was trapped, since Ash was in Sinnoh. And, you know, he never appeared in Black and White, he never appeared in X and Y, so why would he appear in Sun and Moon? Well, the thing is that, because the Sun and Moon games were done for the 20th Pokemon anniversary, they started, you know, bringing back a lot of, uh, you know, throwbacks and stuff like that. We've had, in the anime, we've had Misty and Brock appearing. Ash has referenced, you know, several of his old Pokemon and actually seen them, especially Bulbasaur. And, um, yeah, anime-wise, it's kind of like, well, if they've appeared, what's to say, you know, why hasn't Gary appeared? And let's just go to the game. We have, okay, we have uh, Principal Oak, really. I'm not sure if he's a principal in that game, uh, anyway. We have him, so he's going to be uh, Gary's, uh, you know, Gary's uncle or something, his great uncle, I believe. So, I mean, that family relation, you can have Professor Oak sending Gary there, have all this interaction. I could see that happening. And his game counterpart, Blue, or Green in Japan, he, he appears in Sun and Moon as one of the uh, bosses in the battle tree. So maybe they can reference that, have him come along. I mean, they may not bring the battle tree, but bring, maybe Gary can come, maybe some sort of mini tournament. So yeah, I, I honestly do think that there is a high chance of Gary appearing. And who's to say? Maybe he brings a Mega Blastoise. Because obviously Megas aren't... They're not the biggest thing of Sun and Moon of Generation 7. Because that's the Z-moves. But who's to say he doesn't bring that? You know, we have an epic battle. Pikachu Z-move versus... And actually, no, that'd be kind of boring. A Pikachu Z-move versus Mega Blastoise. I mean, we pretty much had that with, um... You know, Ash versus Misty, didn't we? But anyway, just those little things make me think uh, Gary's going to appear. I know it may be not really convincing, and it's a bit of, you know, fanful wishing, wishful thinking. But yeah. And to be honest, he is actually very popular. I mean, Ash's first rival, he's one of the first characters to actually appear in the anime, first human characters. Because if you, if you minus that whole crowd in episode one, it's pretty much Ash, Delia, Professor Oak on the TV, Gary... Let's not count the cheerleaders, let's not, let's not, let's not. But yeah, anyway, short video, that's the end of it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope, and I hope you all have a nice day, and I'll see you later. See ya!